Hey, what's going on guys? So this is kind of a uh, impromptu video. Um, I posted this to my social medias uh, that I got it uh, a couple days ago, really a day ago, and like a million comments poured in of unbox it right now. And I was always planning on doing it for the channel, but I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, and do it real quick. And that is the limited run games, like super awesome edition of the Castlevania collection on Switch. So without further ado, oh, it's gonna be kind of a short video. I'm just gonna open this thing up and see what's inside. Uh, Cause quite frankly, I forgot what all came in it, but I do know that there is some cool stuff in here. So let's go ahead and, and just open this guy up. Okie dokie, I once again find myself in a precarious situation where I'm recording a huge unboxing in my small area. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna try to muddle through this the best I can. The first thing though, is I do want to show the card, always show off the card. Uh, I did not get a gold one, sadly, which is a shame. Yeah, I almost wish for these big collector's editions, they'd like guarantee you the gold one, but whatever. Here it is, pretty cool though, has like the cover, classic Castlevania. I'm gonna put that aside. And here's what you get, right? The box is pretty heavy. You have uh, the kind of shadow box on the inside. It says Castlevania collection on this side. There's actually the switch, which I'll show you for the light. It's kind of neat, and we'll see that better when we take it out. Um, on the back, it shows you all of the games which is, of course, Castlevania 1, 2, 3, 4, Bloodlines, which is a Genesis game, Adventure, um, Castlevania 2, uh, Belmont's Revenge, these are both the Game Boy ones, and then Kid Dracula, which actually I have this on the Famicom, it's a really kind of fun game. And then, you know, the side has this art. So let's go ahead and open her up. And we'll go, so this game itself actually came out like forever ago. I mean, this, this game, the game, uh, like, you know, just the, the digital version <laughs> um, came out so long ago that they've already, like, it's already lost. It's like, oh, wow, that's so cool. Oh, I can't believe that's coming out. And it's already been moved on to the Advanced Collection, which is already also out. And, and that's been out so long by now that it's actually on sale. You know, like, I picked that up for, like, I don't know, like 10 or 15 bucks at one point. So it's like... You know, you wait forever for these collector's editions, um, and we all know that, but it's still a bummer uh, that this took so long. I think I ordered this, like, God, like early last year, and now it's middle of this year, definitely over a year. So here, uh, once again, the box is kind of a hard cardboard, which is always nice. Um, let's go ahead and try to open this without hurting anything. That's my, my one fear, okay. And, all right, so this is what's inside. Looks like a little instruction leaflet. Yeah, getting started. Switch on and off, power and light, sound. So I, I'm assuming that's for the shadow box, which is up front. Let's go ahead and just try to slide all this out. Oops. So there's that shadow box. Here is Everything else, I don't know what that is. I'll keep that to the side. There's all the games and stuff. This little thingy. All right, that looks like all of the ins and outs. So I'm gonna move the box away. I move this away. This was on top. I'm trying to remember everything, keeping it straight in my head. So all this aside. So first thing, a pen. Classic, Castlevania, cl classic Golvania, ca Castle, Cracklevania. So that's cool. I'm always a big fan of enamel pins. Here's that, the shadow box. And woof, okay, there's some other stuff here. So in here, we have a couple of slip covers. Um, it looks like this is like a slip cover for maybe just the game itself. And here's like a slip cover for everything. I, I think they're just trying to give you like a variety because this is what you would have gotten with the uh, like the classic collection, so they gave you those as well, so you have them, which is nice. You know, it's, it's always cool to have more than less. Um, this thing is chargeable with micro USB, which I will uh, initially say sucks. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that. Um, but, you know, it's just just because I'm so used to USB-C nowadays. Here's the light. Oop.
Okay, well, that was fun. Um, and pretty cool. And look, they have a little mountable thing, so you can mount it. I don't know why you'd mount it this way, but they have the ability to mount it that way or to mount it the proper way. Uh, I'm assuming this is just a generic back and that's why it has the secondary mounting option to mount it sideways. Um, so still though, it has the music, pretty cool. It's battery, um, but also it looks like, I guess rechargeable somehow. I don't know what the, the, I wonder if the instructions talk about the battery instructions. Use three double A batteries. Oh, option one, okay you can plug in the USB to make it permanent, or you can use AA batteries. Okay, so there, now now, now we all know, we all know together. Any hoozle, we have this, and I think this is like a stand for that, and it is maybe, I don't know what this is. But this is like a cool little thing, or it's like a little case that has all of the games, kind of like their box art, like little tiny miniature versions of it. So that's kind of cool. Um, you know, if you're a fan of, uh, of you know, like the original box art, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I think I'll say this later on too, but, uh, if I was to have one game out of this whole thing, that's like my favorite, uh, I know it's going to be sacrilegious because like Castlevania 4 is really, really good. 3 is really, really good. I think Bloodlines and I'm not even like the big, like Sega Genesis guy. Like I love the Saturn. I love the Dreamcast. Like those are some of my favorite consoles, but like this generation, like I was a Super Nintendo kid. Uh, and you know, Nintendo kid, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, but Bloodlines is just something special. That's a really good game. Um, and anyway, hey, you know, comment down below. What's your favorite game? Anywho, art cards. We always like these, um, but looks like we have them for just one, two, and three. Uh, that's kind of weird. Usually um, there's more. Am I missing something? I'm not. Interesting. Uh, either way. Um, so let's go ahead and move that aside. And is this a case for this? I don't know what this thing is. It's... That's something. Either way, maybe it's a stand for the for the box. I don't know. Whatever. I'm done wasting your time trying to figure it out. Let you know that right now. Next time, Dragon Ball Z. Put all this back, and that just leaves the game and the book. So the game I'll set aside because the book we're gonna read, or at least look at. Give it a quick little little cutsy cut, schwa. I really hope that they do a Castlevania um, uh, advanced collection uh, similar to this. That would be really cool. I love those games a lot. Um, really, just all of the, um, what do you call them, Metroidvania type Castlevania games uh, are, are the ones I really like. So anyway, here we go. History of Castlevania, Book of the Crescent Moon. Um, first off, hard chipboard book. Everyone likes that. It talks about all of the consoles and stuff for trademark purposes on the back. Full colored pictures. I'll go a little slow so people can see it. it looks like they have a gallery, you know, of course, table of contents. Um, box art gallery, so original Japanese and uh, English. Uh, if you didn't know, I do believe that one of the Castlevania, I mean, it might be the first one, um, was on the Famicom disk system. I have one of them on the disk system. I'm not sure which. I need to look at that. Uh, but anyway, here's Castlevania Adventure, Belmont's Revenge, um, Bloodlines, or, you know, the cool vampire killer, and then <laughs> uh, uh, the, the, the Dracula Kid Castlevania um, game. That game's really fun. Um, anyway, look, it has, like, original controls and everything. That's pretty cool for all the games. All right, so that's that's neat. I'm a fan of this. I actually, I got this game when it was on sale for five bucks on Xbox Live, waiting for the Switch version to get here, which I can now finally play on the go. Um, you know, if I have the option, go on the physical copy. I always say that. Like I said, Bloodlines is just so good. Ah, that's such a fun game. Um... Special Castlevania discussion. Looks like there's some kind of uh, like a little, maybe like a interview type thing. Maybe they took some interviews from magazines and put it through here, which is pretty cool. Looks like stuff for music, message to the fans. Uh, I always love stuff like this. i am probably go through and read this in my own time. Just uh, gonna go through history of Castlevania. So you have the game titles, I guess like when they take place, which is always cool. Who are the Belmonts? Uh, Secret of the legendary Belmont Whip. Dracula's Monster Minions and Series Sample. Just all sorts of cool like background and information. Um, so that's really neat. I'm a, I'm a fan of stuff. This is really cool. This is It looks well-researched. I mean, I can't wait to read it. 
Um, it looks like they have some cool like concept art type stuff here, diagonal up kind of things. Maps, that's always neat. Love this kind of concept art. Really big fan. It looks like concept backgrounds. Enemies, you know, I've said this so many times on the channel, it's always the same order. It's like characters and then, you know, backgrounds and stuff and then enemies and then usually like weapons or something or bosses. Uh, cool, some storyboards. Oh, the barrel room. Yeah, that's where they're testing out the Mode 7, Castlevania 4. Um, that's really neat. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Castlevania Adventure, showing you some of that stuff. Uh oh. Two, Belmont's Revenge. This is a nice book. This is really nice. Like I said, full color. Bloodlines, some really neat stuff here. Eric Lacard. Probably the coolest character because you can launch with that spear and really like cheat your way through the levels. All right, so it looks like it's like a, yeah, like a 79 pager, you know, not including the, the, um, the kind of end pages. So that's cool. And now let's get to the game itself. Um, I think the game itself has actually come out before this collector's edition. So I'm sure there's other unboxings of this, but you know, you're not watching those videos, you're watching my video. So I'm gonna open this mother. Um, I think it's cool that I guess they had the option of what kind of case they were going to provide. And like I said, what I showed earlier, they, they provided a, I guess like copy of the, um, of the more cardboard like Nintendo style box. But for inside of this, they also provided the Sega style box. So by that, I mean, you have the Sega style striping, has the back with all the games on it. I believe this is like just the same as any other like collector's edition you would have gotten if you bought just the like classic version. Uh, but anyway, like I said, you know, you're watching this video, so we're gonna open it. Um, clamshell case, like Sega is known to have. Kind of a little tight, I don't wanna like, Hey, come on. Damn. Oof. There we go. And you have a steel book, which I always love. And this is a cool one. Look at that. You got like the C, like the Castlevania logo C on the front with uh, some characters and what have you. And then on the back, you have like the original art with like a buckle. That's really cool. Um, oh, that's what this is. This is one of these little jobbers, except for it's like for something else. I don't know, whatever. Oh, you know what? I bet you it's because these cases are kind of generically made, right? So like this spacer is in here to hold the Switch game while maybe the other one would be for PlayStation. Uh, anywho, original soundtrack has a, you know, kind of a selection of songs. Look at that. So you have like one through six. So you have five songs from one, two songs from two, including the original adaptation of Blade Tears from two. Um, Couple songs from three, couple songs from Adventure, couple songs from uh, uh, Belmont's Revenge, Blade Here's Again on Castlevania 4, one song from Kid Dracula, and then a whole bunch of other songs, including like a third version of Blade Here's. And you have the poster. We always have a poster that comes with limited run stuff. And the poster is going to be exactly what you think. It's both sides of the Steelbook, looks like. So one side is original Castlevania collection. Other side is that other picture. Kind of can see it too well, but still cool. Once again, I don't typically, because you get so many posters after buying so many limited run game games, I just kind of keep them folded and safe uh, personally. Get back in there. Then you got the game itself. Comes with a limited run Nintendo uh, NES style dust cover. The game feels a little heavy, which means that I'm hoping there's a manual in it. Because like I said, it is a, a little bit heavy. Um, so this is if you bought just the game itself, it looked like this, Castlevania Collection. Um, actually, I have a video coming out, uh, I don't know, maybe in the next couple weeks or so. I got to go on my way down to the Siege Convention to the Limited Run Game Store, and they had this in there because, like I said, this has already come out where I was waiting on the Collector's Edition. But, ah, yep, so you got the game, got the reversible art with no red spine, so I won't be doing it, but a little tiny, little tiny bucky book. And this is pretty cool. Look at that. It has, a. Uh, it's like a very, oh, look at that. As you go through, it lights up kind of, or puts in color on the side where you're at. So that's really neat. And uh, yeah, so it goes through all the games and then a little note section. So that is everything you get with the 
whatever the hell edition this is, the super mega coolio edition, LL Cool J's personal edition of uh, Castlevania. And ooh, I put you back in, in Sylvania. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Um, I'm not going to talk about the game uh, just because it's been out for so long now. And even if it wasn't out for so long, it's the it's classic Castlevania games. You've played all these. If I'm going to recommend one, like if it's like someone has a gun to your head and says play one, Bloodlines. If someone says play two, Bloodlines and four or three, but probably four just because three is like... It's like if you want to play three, but like really awesomely, check out like uh, Curse of the Moon one because it's like a super badass modern version of three. Um, I'm just rambling though. These are all really good games. This is definitely a collection worth checking out, especially because digitally, which, you know, I'm not a digital guy. You can get this for like five bucks all the time. Um, but hey, that's, that's going to be it for here. And uh, let's go ahead and wrap this old video up. And that is everything that is in the Castlevania Switch Collection. Uh, like I said, um, you know, normally I would have scheduled this video differently, but, uh, you know, I have a bunch of work trips going on. I just wanted this to get out there because so many people requested it, so I figured, you know, I should go ahead and just make this real quick. Uh, and that's also why I didn't really do, like, a gameplay review. But, I mean, like, come on. Like, if you have bought this, you know what the games are. It's Castlevania. It's classic. Uh, you know, some of them are hard. Some of them are great. My favorite one out of this one is like yeah maybe three or maybe bloodlines i don't know i mean they're both really good um but mm, yeah i'm probably gonna go with bloodlines but hey let me know what you think down below what do you think of the collector's edition and on this collector's edition which was your favorite castlevania uh yeah i think that'd be pretty cool but hey as always my friends uh take it easy i just realized that i already did the take it easy thing that i always do here and you know what uh whatever here's the end card again so as always my friends once more, take it easy.